Hello friends, welcome back. Today we are going to see dynamic SQL in web methods. So what is dynamic SQL? It's nothing but a passing a SQL query dynamically from code. That means you can pass the entire SQL statement or a part of statement at the runtime. Now we'll understand the dynamic SQL using example. Let's begin. Go to your designer and first we'll create one flow service. Let's say demo dynamic SQL. We'll create two input. First is age and second is phone number. Now consider a scenario where let's say if age is not equal to null and phone number is equal to null, then we have to write this query. And if and else if age is not equal to null and phone number is also not equal to null, then we have to write this query the difference in both the queries are here we are passing the extra parameter as phone number so we will implement this scenario in flow service so again go to your designer first we'll create a branch step and then we'll add one map step and here we can say that in label we can say that age is not equal to null and then pipeline here will add one will insert one variable called query so what we'll do we'll just create after where this one to see and we'll put one more map step phone number is not equal to null so what we'll do here we'll add one more variable called query and then here we'll add this part Now we'll create one adapter service called get person data dynamically. We'll select web method with no transaction because we are using select statements. And here we'll select dynamic SQL and finish. Now we'll copy this part till where and then here we'll put a parameter like this with and we'll put query and whatever the output parameters we'll need it we'll give it into output once you save this then you will see in input and output variables are automatically get created now we will insert our adapter service here we'll map query with query and we'll keep output as this so that we can see it now we'll save this and we'll test it first we'll give only age so let's say 23 now here if we run this then we'll see only three records are fetched. now verify from here Yes, here you can see three records are fetched. Now we'll try to give phone number as well. So anything we can put. Now here we can see only two results. So this way we can implement the dynamic SQL or in our uh, scenarios. And I hope you understand what is dynamic SQL and where to use the dynamic SQL. So if you like the video, then please do like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much.